Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm here with a shop or drop video because there's a lot of complexion products and stuff dropping. I want to sit down so I can talk to you guys. I'm still trying to figure out how to do an Instagram live. Your girl is not technology savvy and I'm sort of blind. So I have to figure out a way to do it using my laptop. <laughs> anyway, so let's jump right into it. The Patrick Ta Foundation. All right, so this is the, what is it called? Major Skin Hydra Lux Luminous Skin Perfecting Foundation. Girl, you know when I saw this, I got very excited. It's gonna be launching on Monday. I think Monday is the 20, whatever, either 26 or 27. This retails for 68 or no, $58. Yes, retails for $58. Now, of course I've spent more on foundations, but oh, they're taking the piss with us. <laughs> That's a lot of money to spend on a foundation because you know after tax it's gonna be 60 bucks. You're spending 60 bucks for a foundation. I think it has 20 something shades. It's Patrick Ta, I heard the word luminous. Um, the shade range looks good. The shade range looks good. So are we shopping or are we passing? Now let's take into consideration we all have too many foundations. But for me, it's Patrick Ta. I have a screen foundation. To me it was just okay. Nothing to scream and shout about or anything like that. So, like I had said, I'm going to purchase. What are you guys going to do? Are you going to purchase or are you going to pass? Because I know myself. If I say, oh, I'm not going to buy it, really? I'm going to be thinking about it all the time. I'm going to have FOMO, so I'm probably going to be purchasing. All right, then my phone is dying. Huda is coming out with foundation so it's the easy blur natural airbrush foundation with niacinamide this price is better it's 37 dollars and she has what i think it could be 29 shades i think she has a total of 29 shades 30 mils oh boy so this is a lightweight, medium to buildable coverage foundation that's non-comedogenic and ultra blurring for an airbrushed finish. I saw her using it <laughs> on her TikTok. This one I'm on the fence about because like I said, I should not care about this foundation at all. I am literally trying to use up my foundations. Today I went back to my Makeup Forever palettes I use them both for my base and I've been loving it. I mean, you can never miss with these or their or the Make It Forever Foundation Sticks. Look at my skin. Just beautiful. Oh, I, I redid my lashes. I used a different brand that I got off of Amazon and these are fluffier, so it's not so wispy. And I tried to create a cat eye. I love how it came out. I'm getting good at this. Anywho, back to what we were speaking about, the Huda Foundation. This is my fear for me personally and this foundation. I know I'm gonna have FOMO. I'm gonna be thinking about it. Should I have gotten it, whatever. But I'm thinking to just get the Patrick Ta, don't rush to get that, because this is what I do. I'll get the Patrick Ta, then I'll rush to get that, and then one of the two is gonna sit, and this is how you get backlogged, and it, pack, and it, it just sits there, and then something else come out, and you buy it. And I think for me, and this is not making an excuse, because I have this platform, I have a channel, I do like to review um, complexion products on my, on my channel. I tend to feel like, oh, I should review it and stuff like that because obviously I'm still trying to build um, my channel, but then I'm left with the foundation and I'm terrible at returning. I got a little better within the last year, but I'm terrible at returning. So right now for me, this is a maybe. Maybe I'll pick it up, I'm not sure. Then we have LYS coming out with a foundation stick. 
So this is the Triple Fix Blurring and Hydrating Skin Tint. Oh, it's a skin tint foundation stick, sort of like the Fenty, I'm thinking. I hope it's not like that new shot, of the, that latest shot of Tilbury stick, because I don't know what that was. I'm trying to see if my phone has enough battery. I don't know. I, did, I, didn't, um, I didn't charge it last night. I forgot everything about it. Um, so this is a skin tint foundation stick. Hmm. It has 7.2 grams and the price is going to be reasonable. This is LYS. So what does this retail for? This is $25 and I'm not sure when this is going to launch or if it already launched, but it's saying out of stock, not available. Sometimes when it says that when something just launched, it's, um, it hasn't launched yet now this I think I can pass for now because like I said I have these creams um I have my Fenty stick I have I still have my full Tom Ford stick I have my makeup forever sticks that I absolutely love so this though is still on my radar but for now I would say pass what are you guys doing but for the price point though this is the one I should be saying bye but I just really, really want that Patrick Ta, so I'm gonna go for that first. <laughs> but this, and she makes really good products. The only thing I really didn't love from her, I think it was her powder, the pressed powder. But everything else, she makes great products. I think I'm just gonna, I'm gonna keep this, I'm gonna keep it in my radar. All right, MAC Cosmetics is coming out with their new Studio Radiance Luminous Lift Concealer. Um, I think this is to go with their Radiance um, Concealer. I remember reviewing that around, I think it was the beginning of fall, but I came back to YouTube. I think that was my first foundation I reviewed. I love it. Of course, I can't get back to it because I have so many other foundations. Um, so I think there's like 40 something shades of this, um, concealer. It's available right now. Wow. I didn't realize it was available right now. So it's weightless, radiant, 24 hour. Well, who's going to test 24 hour? Medium to buildable coverage. It retails for $31. Mac is getting like, their concealer is 31 bucks. 31 bucks, guys. This one, I think I'm going to get. I think I'm gonna get it to go with that Studio Radiance um, foundation. I think I think I'm gonna purchase it today. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna. Um, I'm on the website. I think I'm just gonna. I'm gonna look for my shade and I'm going to purchase it. Um, I love Mac concealers. I just haven't purchased them in a year. I used to love the Pro Long Wear. Everybody knew it with the little pump, and like I always said, I'm always going to be a Mac girl. I'm always gonna be a Mac girl. Um, I think I'm going to purchase this concealer. <laughs> Let me guys know if you're going to purchase this or if you're going to pass or you, at least you're going to go through a few concealers before you get this. But for me right now, I'm going to purchase. All right. So Victoria Beckham is coming out with concealer. And you know, I always said that I would like, anytime she brings out a complexion product, I will be getting that. You know, I've said that like so many times um, on my channel. So here she goes. But this this is um, a concealer pen. Because um, I personally love her products. The few products that she have, I love it. So it's a high performance double impact formula that gives you second skin light to medium coverage that immediately perfects while... What is it? While... Preparing skincare? I don't know what it says. I don't have my glasses. Anywho, the only thing with this, I think this is $68. 16 shades, $68. After tax, 70 something plus shipping. You're going to be paying 70 something dollars for a concealer. I can't do it. And this is the only reason I'm not getting it because to me it looks good and I know it's probably good because it's her. I love the idea of it. I love the pen because I used to like the Touche Cloth, although when I first bought it, I was using it wrong. But girl, and look at these deep shades. Beautiful, nice and rich. Oh, where did it go? Oh, here it is. See? 
see that? But I cannot justify $68 for a concealer pen, especially when I have drawers and drawers of concealers. Because most of the, we all have drawers and drawers of concealer. Because especially me, every time I come in here, I use the same concealers over and over. You guys have seen me. Like if you've just visited my channel, you'd be like, okay, those are the concealers she have. I have like three drawers packed, plus I have some drawers over here in the bottom that's full of concealer that I need to go through. So for me to go buy a $68 concealer, girl, maybe if I win to make a million. <laughs> no. So because of that, I'm going to pass. All right. This came out of left field and it shocked me. Makeup by Mario is coming out with setting powders. <sighs> so it's going to be launched on September 1st. And the new Surreal Skin Setting Collection, I think he has setting spray as well. And it comes with a puff. I'm only, if I'm going to buy it, I'm only interested in the powder. You guys know I have such a weakness for powder. Um, The foundation, okay. The setting spray is 34. I'm not getting the setting spray. Okay, the powder is $38. And there's a, there's a total of six because I saw a little bit of it on his TikTok as well. Um, this is what the shade range looks like. Why do I keep doing this? <laughs> this is what the shade range looks like. So it looks like four deeper shades and only three like lighter shades. Um, I feel that this, and I was even saying that the other day, cause I was thinking of doing a one brand tutorial and I was looking at his foundation, which I really fell in love with after not liking it. Um, and I've said that to you guys and I was like, oh, I have his foundation. I have his concealer. I have his contour. I have, you know, the highlighter, the, you know, the highlighting bronze and powder. I have his palette, his eyeliner, his brush, you know. The only, and I kept saying the only thing missing for a full face is powder. And here it is. So for me, <laughs> this is a buy for me. I know I have drawers and drawers full of powder. We talk about this so much. Um, I've been loving my Charlotte Tilbury powders. I've been loving my one size powders, but it's makeup by Mario. Um, the demo that I saw though, I wished that the girl who was doing the demo, I wish that she had put it on her face. She was swatching it on her hand. I wanted to see it under eye and around the face because most of the times when you buy loose powder, at least for me, you do under eye and you do um, around the face. But then, you know, to go buy two powders just to test it out under eye and around the face, I don't know, but I saw he has a beautiful peach shade. So I'm thinking if I do buy it, I'll probably buy the peach shade and I'll use it under eye. I probably wouldn't get it for all over me, but a later date, if I like it, I can try to get it all over, but I'm looking at that peach shade. So for me, this is a buy. Let me know what you guys are going to do. Are you going to buy? Are you going to shop or pay or pass? <sighs> all right. Don't kill me. And we should not, I should not be talking about this after everything I said, but this really shocked me. Natasha Denona dropped this eyeshadow palette. I did the same thing. Drop the size shadow palette. I need a warm palette. This whole area is dedicated to her palettes. I collect her palettes. I, it's only a few that I don't have. And I literally sat here and I fixed my mouth to say, I don't think I'm ever going to be buying another eyeshadow palette. I don't need another eyeshadow palette because I bought her, what is that? The golden palette. I love it, but I barely use it because as you can see, I've been doing a nude eye. It's easier for me to do, and I've just been doing that. But I saw this. How many warm palettes can I have? And I want this palette. <sighs> God help me, but I do. These shades, and I'm, I'm, I probably have shades like this in so many palettes in my Pat McGrath palette and stuff, but these particular shades down this row right here just caught my attention. And then I saw the images of it, right? Like when I saw this, it just looks so good. Of course, maybe they're doctored, they're enhanced, you know, to pop. But I saw her. And I could just see myself with this eye look, right? And I was, I was trying to talk myself out of it, talk myself out of it. Look. 
I'm pretty sure I can find a palette or a few palettes to create this look. But I want it in this palette. This is a $68 palette, right? This is a $68 palette, right? The $69 palette. It's going to be $70 something dollars after taxes. These are just on display. I barely reach for them. I barely reach for the ones in my drawers. But I want this palette. Where did it go? I can control my hand. <laughs> oh, it's so annoying. I think it's beautiful. And you know, I saw people in the comments when Trend Moon posted it and somebody sent it to me as well. Oh, how many warm palettes is she gonna do? Why can't we get a cool palette? And I'm saying, I need a new. That's a, that was her cool palette. Plus, I know she has, I can't remember the name of it. I've seen her with at least three cool palettes. People are gonna always find something to say. If you don't like warm palettes, keep it moving. I would never get on somebody's page to write in. Like, who are you to say that? Because it's Natasha and knows her formulas are beautiful. It's gonna sell because people like me are thinking about it. But I, I don't know exactly, but I want to. <laughs> Girl, I really want this palette and I shouldn't want it. So I'm giving myself time because it's available. I went on there and I looked. I went on Sephora and I looked, it's available right now. I'm giving myself time through the weekend, maybe into next week after I buy the Patrick Talk, because I will be buying that, and see how I still feel. Look at my palettes, talk to myself, give myself a little pep talk, and say, do you really need this girl? And if after all of that, I still want it, I'm going to buy it, because I'm making myself happy, and I only live once, and um, I have a very stressful life, and this is my reward. <laughs> girl, you, you saw that, right? I literally... This is what I'll do. I'll talk myself into it. But it just looks really pretty and I would love to add it to my Natasha Denona collection. All right, so this was a quick video and these are the specific products I wanted to talk about that's gonna be launching, that got my attention and I'm really looking at. And let me know, sound off in the comments, what are you guys gonna get? Because you guys also influenced me to get a lot of stuff as well like the Charlotte Tilbury powder, but I did not regret it. But let me know what you guys are going to get. And um, I hope you enjoy this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.